What's up everybody, it's Chuflaka back at it again with another Madden YouTube video. Today we're going to be doing another top 10. There really wasn't content released for the last three days, so I'm kind of left on an island here. So I think getting these top 10 lists out of the way is a great way to start off the week. We do have flashbacks tomorrow. I might do a game plan on one of them, see who we get. Hopefully we're up to a 95 overall on those flashbacks. But anyways, let's get right into the top 10. Make sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoy it. Let's get right into it. number 10 here we do have work done we are leaving out some honorable mentions like Corey dylan who does have a 93 base speed which at 97 overall kind of not that good this work done has a 94 base speed this is with the out the powered up version as well so this work done one of the best in the game right now sitting at 590 he really does get through a lot of the holes another honorable mention i did have him beat off was sean alexander him being an elusive back really does help over a power back and also i swear he played better because of that 59 height but if you guys are wondering where Sean Alexander are and Corey Dillon are in this list, they are my 11 and 12 on here. Those guys barely missed it by a smidgen, but work done is our 10. He is a short running back that can get through the hole, has pretty good stats. The catching, pretty good as well, so not a bad guy at all, although 5-9 with catching isn't the greatest combo. But at the end of the day, he is our running back. Let's head right into our number 9. Number nine, we do have Arian Foster here. This is one that I feel like is the one of the most slept on cards in the game. He is a 6'1 running back with 94 base speed, 96 excel. The break tackle is insane at 98. So you get that at 99 without any chems or anything when you power him up. 96 COD, the trucking's high. The carrying's a smidge low. We'd want we definitely want to see that in the base 90s at a 96 overall. But you can power him up and make it a 90. It's still very low at that overall. But an all-around solid card he has high break tackle this guy like i said you don't see him a lot he's fairly cheap too under 250k and you don't see him at all ever literally ever i i'm can't even remember the last time i've seen an arian foster in a head-to-head -head game but this guy one of the most slept on in the game let's head into our number eight At number eight, we do have this Raheem Mostert playoff card. I think this is one of the best running backs in the game only because you guys remember his 90 overall. This 95 now has a base 95 speed, a lot faster than those guys we showed before in the video. And also, he just plays very different, if that makes sense. He did have a carrying problem on his other card because it was below 90, but with this upgrade, he did get a 92 here. The COD is very solid. Break tackle. Not as bad as you think it would be on a Raheem Moser. 92 is actually really good for a Raheem Moser card. Obviously, he's not a trucking back. He's kind of a smaller back. Obviously, you can see under 200 pounds. So, just an all-around great card. You guys know, if you've ever played with Raheem Moser in-game, you know he's one of the best in-game running backs. That 90 card was on everybody's team for the longest time. You got this 95. He's kind of not as used as anymore. I think people are starting to use the high-tier running backs a lot more now. They realize how much value a running back can bring to your team. So, everyone's using... A lot of the guys that I'll have in this top five list, but Raheem Moser, you can't afford those top guys. This is one of the best guys in the game to get for his price. But anyways, let's head into our number six. You know I said six, I meant seven. This is our number seven, Dalvin Cook right here. This guy, one of the glitchiest players on field too. His stats don't show how good he actually is on the field. You can see he has kind of worse stats than like an, an Arian Foster for say. But he does play a lot better, if that makes sense. If you guys have ever played with a Dalvin Cook, I don't know what it is. It might be the high change of direction, but I swear he always breaks them open for me. He always gets in the open field, and he just plays great for me. I think it really does have to have, like, I think it really does have to do with the high change of direction. I, I, I don't know what else to say, because that there's no other stat that really correlates him being great. But that change of direction is the highest we've seen so far in this list. And it, I always knew it was something about him that played really, really good. And I really, really think it is all the swerves he can make, all of the different cuts he can make with that very, very high change of direction. Also, as a loose back, so he gets that jukebox very, very cheap if you guys do use that. Not a bad running back at all. Honestly, a super solid card. But now, let's head into our number six. At number six on this list, we do have Nick Chubb right here. I know I said 93 base speed is a little slow. I may be a little biased here that I'm a Browns fan, but you can't take away from the super high carrying, high trucking, high break tackle. I see this guy in strong close a lot. His price is a little high right now, but he is getting a redux. He is really good. Like, I'm telling you guys, he is really good. 
He is basically, you can't afford the 97 Derrick Henry. You're going to be getting this Nick Chubb. He is a beast, a power back. We'll getting a Redux, like I said. So you'll see him on a lot more teams. I don't know what to say about him. Like, you don't see him a lot because of the price tag. But I do have him. You guys know I did pull this card in a pack opening, actually, on YouTube. So this is a card I'm very biased towards. And honestly, I think he... He easily is a top 10 running back in the game, and I have a lot of fun with him. He dominates for me. The change of direction is a little bricky, but at power back, that's not really the big, the biggest deal because you're not really using him for that. I really do use him at fullback a lot, and he is like one of the best goal line running backs I've ever played with. But anyways, let's finally head into our number five. Number five on this list, we do actually have Austin Eckler here. I think this is one of the better running backs in the game and another one that slept on who's going to be on a lot of teams when he gets a redux here on Friday. A 5'10 running back that is a receiving back. That is why he is so high. Receiving backs make you just that much better. He does have high catching, high change of direction, high block tackle. The trucking, he's not really a trucking back, but he will get that backfield mess. Uh, I think it's backfield master, backfield mismatch. I always, I always forget it, but he'll get it for one AP which is the best ability for running backs and him being a receiving back just makes him that much better and helps a lot when it comes to doing, I don't know, building your team because when you need a receiving back, most people pass. I'd say about good 70% of Madden players pass most plays and he's just a good guy to be on your field at all times. He can run, catch, he can do everything for you. Just a, an all around solid card. There's not much you could say about him. He's literally a baby Kamara, I guess you could say. So if you can't afford Kamara, I would go for Eckler because Kamara kind of has those pieces in between. He has a plus one too, so he gets a little expensive because he has like a 15K plus one training. So that's a little tough. Everybody knows that. But Eckler is that guy, a big beast. Honestly, a baby Kamara, like I said. This guy getting a redux on Friday. Wait for that. He'll be at around like 200, 250K. Easily a snag on a team, a top five running back in the game right now. Let's head into our number four. Number four, we do have Barry Sanders here. This is one that everybody knows. He is always one of the best running backs in the game. He does have that crazy, crazy change of direction. High break tackle, high speed, high excel, high agility. Also, is 5'8", so he gets through every single hole. But this is not even the best thing about him is the gameplay. It really comes down to he gets every single team come in the game, which makes him very valuable. If you're looking at like a Jags or a Jets team team who have like a James Robinson or even a LaDainian Townsend, some running backs that are getting out of style, and you have no one else for your theme team, a Barry Sanders, plop him right in. He'll play right for you. You could do this on any theme team. You could really switch theme teams and never have to worry about your running back when you have a Barry Sanders, which is really fire. And honestly, he's a great card as well. It's not like he's some bum who could just switch theme teams. That's the only thing good about him. He's actually good on the field as well. That's why I have him at number four here. And he's still one of the best in the game. And that obviously, obviously the team chem thing boosts him very high in this list. But anyways, let's head into our top three. Number three, we do have Bo Jackson on this list. 95 base speed, 95 trucking, 95 brake tackle, 94 change of direction. Everything's just insane. Every single stat is insane. Sitting at six foot one. The one reason I don't have him a little higher on this list is because he doesn't play as good as he was in past Maddens, if that makes sense. He still is one of the best in the game. Easily a top tier guy. But in past Maddens, he, you could tell that he was the best in the game. I don't really feel it with him this year. And honestly, I don't know if he will get another upgrade. Hopefully he does because honestly, I love playing with Bo Jackson. This card just does not feel as good as it should be. Although he's like, I'm just completely comparing him to past Maddens. That's what it is here. He's still easily a top three running back in this game. I'm just comparing him to what he played like. And even last year, even last year, he's one of the best running backs in the game. He still is this year, but I don't know what to say. I, I still love him. Don't take anything like this of offense. He's still easily a top three running back in the game. Could be very much interchanged with number two coming up right here. Let's head right into two. Number two on my list, I actually do have the brand new honors Derrick Henry. Basically the same card as him. Just doesn't have that change direction, but I swear... Derrick Henry just plays better. I always say that, but he just plays better on the field. I don't know if it's because I play next gen, but I do play current gen, and Derrick Henry just has been playing better for me in general. When it comes to even his 95 overall card, it was still very good for me. So this 97 obviously is a big boost. He just, I don't know what it is. He just plays better on the field. Like I said, these two are very interchangeable. You could easily throw Bo at two. 
I really think Bo has better stats, but Derrick Henry, like I said, he just plays insane for me. A fun card to use as well. Great power back, great fullback. You use him in strong close. I know a lot of you guys run strong close. So this guy could easily be placed in there with you guys. And you guys have a lot of fun with this card. Huge break tackling, huge speed. Honestly, I didn't even think they were going to give him a 95 speed, but 95 base speed for Derrick Henry. That is a beaut right there. You can get him up to a 98 on a non-theme team. So that is super solid for a big power back like Derrick Henry. But at the end of the day, I like I said, him and Bo Jackson can easily be switched out for two and three. But I just personally think Derrick Henry plays better on the actual field. But anyways, let's finally head into our number one of this list. number one on this list it's still alvin kamara here you can see he has a 94 base speed but you do power him up he'll have a 95 base speed but then again he got a plus one as well so he has a 96 base speed powered up which is insane to think about the break tackles a 99 base as well he has crazy eye change of direction crazy eye catching receiving back everything is insane carrying is like at a 92 as well it just really comes down to the receiving back as well that puts him above. Also, 96 base speed is the highest we have at running back right now. Also, right next to obviously like Derrick Henry and then when you power him up. But when it comes at receiving back, obviously it makes him a lot better than those guys. He is a really short running back too, so he gets through those holes that we all want to see our running backs get through. He has a 99 speed on my team. I am in a Saints team team. I'm very biased to him as well, but I think most people can agree that Alvin Kamara is still the number one running back in this game, and I do not see him getting passed up for a little while as well. They really came out a little early with this guy, and getting that plus one really shot him ahead as well, because 96 base speed is huge for non-theme teams, 98 speed for non-theme teams, so that is really, really good. Honestly, I think this guy's a for sure shot number one for me right now. Derrick Henry and Bo fighting for number two for me. But anyways, not a bad top 10 list. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. We might be doing a coin method if they do not get good, um, get some good flashbacks in the game. I almost stuttered there. I have no clue why. But if there's not good flashbacks in the game, we will be doing maybe a coin me making method. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.